lot of life stuff um, has been happening. Everyone and welcome back to my channel or if this is the first time clicking on one of my videos today a huge warm welcome now I have been MIA for quite some time possibly well and truly a month probably coming up to a month and a half um, that I last posted a video here on my channel I have been a bit quiet in the whole YouTube space um, but I've been a lot more active um over on instagram so and i've got my eight month old son Ryder, just up here playing he's trying to crawl over here he's just started crawling he's just started crawling um and we've had sort of well harper for if you're new here is our two and a half year old daughter and this is Ryder. so they've sort of the last couple of days had the slight cough, runny nose, but me and my husband yet luckily feel fine. We haven't got it yet from them. So, and this is his first actual cold um, that, he's, that he's ever had. So that's pretty good going. Um, but Harper seems really on the mend, like it's only been a couple of days for her and she seems a lot better already. So yeah, that's excellent. This is my first video in a while and I really felt inspired very determined to film this video today for you all because I have had a few messages over on Instagram asking when my next video will be out. So I'm excited to be bringing you this cleaning motivational video today here on my channel. But yeah, I guess a lot, it just feels like a lot of life stuff um, has been happening lately. I, yeah, just like with the kids and with Ryder starting to crawl and get more um, mobile, I suppose. You trying to play with my earrings? Are you trying to play with my earrings? No, but, but. Um, yeah, so it's just been a little bit more hectic, I suppose. Um, but yeah, but like I said, I'm really feeling good about filming this video today and I'm glad to be back here um on youtube and i really hope fingers crossed my next video won't be as long as this one because i really actually enjoy it as sort of um like tricky it is to film now with especially having the two kids um yeah but i still really really very much enjoy it and love chatting to you all and reading all your comments so if you end up liking this video i really hope you consider hitting that subscribe button and sticking around and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and this style of content you enjoy to watch let's just jump straight in to today's video and thank you all very much for being here and thank you very much for everyone who has been patient with me whilst i have been trying to get a video out to you. So it almost feels slightly surreal that I've actually filmed another YouTube video. 
I sort of felt like a part of me couldn't see it in the near future. I know that sounds crazy um, and probably silly, but yeah, a part of me couldn't sort of see me filming another YouTube video, um, if that makes sense. Like just in the time of my life, like the past um, month, two months, I was thinking today, just as I was getting around, um, doing things I was thinking I think it's been so difficult because there's been which well it's felt like there's been more things to do and that's I was actually thinking about it when I was making me and Ryder's lunch and since he started eating about the six months that's probably when things become more busy crazy um yeah just non-stop because like obviously I cook at home we're not really getting takeaway or anything like that for lunches I'm making breakfast lunch dinner that sort of thing so when it's me Harper and Ryder all three of us at home I'm making you know three meals sort of three times a day and then snacks for them in between so it's a lot of cooking then obviously cleaning up and just yeah like full on just with that alone so it's probably really been since Ryder started eating more solids um and then like I mentioned at the start of this video he started crawling the last few weeks so that's obviously been more um yeah with him get with him more mobile like when you go to change their nappies and things like that he's you know trying to escape and it's just sort of a little more exhausting obviously than when they're babies and they lay there and and whatnot but when they start to eat I think that's like the next big tiring thing because obviously the clean up then wiping them which they completely hate getting their face wiped um but yeah but anyway I'm glad to be back here on YouTube and if you're not following me over on Instagram already be sure to follow me over there my Instagram is linked in the description box below I'd love to have you as a friend over there I'm really trying to build up my Instagram and increase my followers but I want sort of genuine followers like I just don't want a number um you know I'm sure you can understand that I just don't want a number of people I want them to actually be genuinely interested in what I have to share and yeah my content obviously over there and here so anyway I'll let you sit back and soak up the motivation or whether you're cleaning along with me I'd love to know in the comments down below what you're doing at the time of watching today's video okay so today the focus is primarily on my bedroom I had been wanting to show it some love for quite some time so I'm getting in in today's video and actually showing it some love just a little bit um, but yeah I just really wanted to pay it a bit of attention so as you saw I just wiped down my bedside tables just with my anti-back wipes um, so then I can just dispose of them and then the same with the windows here just obviously wiped out the um, sill like inside there was a few dead flies and whatnot in there and then just wiping over the plantation shutters now these plantation shutters are the easiest sort of blind I have found to clean and I just obviously love the look of them so yeah we're just in here showing my room some love I'm going to vacuum the bedroom and the ensuite in a moment and well that's probably gonna be it for this room but that's still yeah well and truly more than it's had in quite some time Just 
Okay, so now that the bedroom is completed, done what I wanted to do in there, I probably could have done a lot more, but yeah, I didn't want to spend all day on this, which it turned out that I was sort of pretty well on it all day, in obviously in between riders and naps. Um, yeah, I originally set out to say I'm going to spend an hour on it, um, on cleaning and filming, but obviously, yeah, that rolled into Nelly all day, um, just between, yeah, like I said, stopping and having lunch and things like that. I didn't sort of want to go full ball like I have in the past, um, like without sort of, you know, like I've skipped lunch and things like that just to get it done, but I didn't want to sort of flog myself in a way because although I focus a lot on food like what I'm nourishing my body with um, and my exercises I find I've lacked for quite some time in the sort of mental self-care um, yeah so I've really lately tried to focus more on that and sort of slowing things down even though I'm still not completely slowed down to where I'd like to be um, ideally but I'm working on it it's a work in progress it's very slow for me because I find it very hard to slow down um, I'm just yeah got to shift that mindset from slowing down doesn't equal being lazy like I'm sort of stuck in that mindset that if you sort of like that it's not productive I feel like if I'm not going 100 miles an hour I'm not being productive which is complete nonsense like you sit here working on a computer, you're being productive, but I sort of feel like, yeah, if I'm not running around cleaning, yeah, I feel like I'm not being productive. But so I've been trying to lately to, yeah, focus a lot on slowing down. So I've been trying to read a lot more. Reading is something that I love to do. I'm more of a reader than over, say, watching TV, Netflix, that sort of thing. Like I watch Netflix with my husband of a night sometimes but yeah it's not something I'll just think to turn on at home by myself so I'm more read I'm a terrible scroller I'm terrible for scrolling and that can end up being very unproductive I'm sure a lot of you can agree um, with me on that but yeah so I'm just trying to focus more on the mental health um, because yeah like fitness isn't a problem to me um, I have no problem working out every day obviously keeping in mind if I can fit it in um, with the two kids and everything but yeah exercise I, I don't hesitate to go into my workout room and smash out a workout that comes quite easily for me but it's more the slowing down that isn't um, natural for me Now, if you have a change of mindset, practice, goal, whatever you like to call it, if you have something that you're sort of working on in the background to benefit yourself this year, so that obviously you can go into 2024 being a completely different, happier, healthy, clearer version of yourself, I would love to hear it drop me a comment down below I would just really really love to read that and respond to that it just yeah really interests me to see what sort of people would like to work on this year so yeah I'd love to hear from you down below If you're an original here on my channel you know I love my diffusers and I love my Aria diffuser here in particular um, it's one of my favorite diffusers 
of all time. Now I showed a while ago on my stories the diffuser I picked up just from Kmart for my son's room just sort of for the music and obviously to diffuse. Um, I always diffuse lavender in the kids' bedrooms at night. But yeah, like it's great, great diffuser, but the volume doesn't seem to go down. Like the minimum is quite, can be quite loud, I feel. I mean, everybody's um, different with volumes, I suppose, but just for me, it feels a bit loud. Like I, I think it's silly that you can't turn it down anymore, but that would be, the downfall of it but apart from that love it it's great so I was just setting my diffuser out here in the main living area I don't know the actual name how to pronounce it um, but it's a new one I've just recently purchased this from Young Living where I get all my oils and the Aria diffuser is also from Young Living so that's um, online but yeah I don't know the name of it but it smells like really lemongrassy just fresh uplifting so yeah really enjoying that one i love that but a few of my favorites are always purification and lemon to have on hand i love them too just absolutely love purification um it smells like yeah nothing i've ever smelled so i always have purification and lemon and obviously lavender for at night in our bedrooms i love to diffuse that overnight and sometimes if the afternoons are a bit crazy and i feel like we all need to sort of yeah zen a bit i'll put lavender out here in the living room also so i'm just giving this a quick tidy up here whilst Ryder is napping before he wakes up and then we'll have lunch here soon and then i'll continue on with the cleaning so always on the dining table Ryder's walker high chair things like that that you know the kids put food on and then obviously pick it back up and put it in their mouth I like to use my thieves household cleaner this is also from young living um, so it's like a concentrate um, yeah you put a cat pull in a 500 ml bottle of water spray bottle and it lasts you literally ages so yeah I like to do all the cleaning where yeah they're, they're putting sitting food and then picking it back up from and placing it in their mouth I like to use my thieves because it's completely natural and completely safe so yeah I love that and it's also got a really lovely smell as well so now moving on to my favorite household task vacuuming I just obsessed with vacuuming and I'm loving my new Dyson here that my husband picked up for me so yeah such a beauty makes vacuuming makes me want to do it even more using my new vacuum now I'm getting my amazing high zero out to clean up from lunch Ryder here had some what did he have some pear and rice yeah he sort of just eats it whatever has a bit of what I'm eating whatever so I have some he had some pear that I sort of um, steamed a little bit you know to make it a little bit softer for him and obviously it went on the floor so I'm pulling out my high zero it'll just clean that up easy peasy for me so no getting down on hands and knees having to use my cloth to pick up the bits of because obviously I'm not going to run over you know soggy pear and rice with my vacuum I would wipe that up with with a wet cloth but my high zero has been a game changer life saver I'm still loving it um, so thank you thank you very much husband for getting me that because that has just just saved so much time but there was a couple of times I know this might sound a bit gross but there was a couple of times where Ryder I was holding him and he sort of did a vomit like back in those um days when when he was a lot more um you know spewy and, and things like that when he'd bring up his milk a lot more and yeah he, he sort of would vomit on and it would land on the floor on the tiles and yep I'll just get my high zero out 
because obviously you're cleaning this after every use. Um, that's something yeah, to be very mindful of. You clean it after every use, but it's so easy peasy to clean. Like I had a um, Bissell Crossway before this and the Bissell nightmare cleaning. Um, and then when I got this high zero, oh my gosh, so, so easy, like unbelievably easy. And then you just give it, you know, a weekly deeper clean, which is still really easy um, takes no time at all so I'm just getting my high zero out and trying to do it quickly before Ryder runs over the bits of food in his walker okay so we're heading towards the near end of today's video and I was really sort of questioning myself whether I was going to get it ready by Sunday morning as I originally said um, over on my Instagram I said I was aiming to have this video uploaded live ready for you all Sunday morning to just sit back with a coffee or a cup of tea or your breakfast and just soak it up and watch it um, and I think I think I'm gonna do it I think I'm going to have it out ready done and I'm beyond happy about that so excited for you all to watch um, content from me because I know like I said a lot of you have, have messaged me asking where I am when's my next video coming so I'm very pleased to be bringing you this video and anyway I'm just doing up some organizing here a little bit of organizing I love my organizing this is just a container I picked up from Bunnings about ten dollars and I'm just sorting sort of batteries hooks bits and pieces into it there was some things I had to ask my husband about because I was not sure if you know they were to be kept or if we should keep them or if we had you know if we could get rid of them because I hate clutter I hate junk it just does my head in um, not good for the overall mindset um, but yeah so I felt really good sorting this out and lastly we're just on to making my daughter Harper's bedroom now we're trying to teach her you know that you got to make your bed that's um, part of life especially I love a made bed so I want to get her into that good routine Well, that brings us to the end of today's cleaning style video. I'm really, really sorry. Huge apology for taking so long to get a video out to you all. But thank you for those who have been patient and stuck by me and, yeah, just been a huge support um, always, no matter what's going on. But I had lots of fun being back filming another video for you all today. And yeah, I hope to see you back here soon with a brand new video. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really supports my channel and helps my channel grow. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stick around for more videos like this. If this is your style of video. Well, thank you so very much. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and week ahead. And I'll chat to you all soon. Bye for now.